Okay, Assalamualaikum again. Um, today, what we're going to do is, well, I'm going to show you how to treat or do the accounting treatment when there is a transfer uh, from investment property to to become PPE. So at first, uh, the item is held under MFRS 140, but later, as there is a change in use, it will be now held under MFRS 116. So I'm trying to illustrate this using question January 2024, final exam FAR 270. So we are going to uh, use question 2C. Question 2C. Question 2C is uh, regarding uh, the transfer Transfer from IP and IP in this question, if you read, the company adopts fair value model to measure its investment property. Where IP that uses fair value model and it was transferred from IP to PPE. And you are informed PPE uses revaluation model. You can read the sentence there. So PPE I put here uses or adopt revaluation model. Okay, IP can also use cost model. PPE can also use cost model. It depends on the accounting policy of a company. But the accounting policy of this company, and let us see what is the company's name. It was Lebaran. So Lebaran is using fair value model for the IP, but use um, revaluation re model for PPE. So on 1st July 2018, Lebaran purchased a building and the cost of the building was four million. That was the initial cost of building on the date of uh, purchase. So on the date of purchase, that was the initial cost. So uh, let us just put that here. First of January twenty July, sorry, July twenty eighteen. First of July twenty eighteen, you have the cost of building. So I put here building. Uh, we are not sure whether building is an IP or not yet. So, but building the cost is four million. And it was immediately rented out. So that is the key word or key indicator saying that it was being an IP. It was rented out to whom? To the various tenant. And because of that, they earn a rental income of 20,000. Per month. So meaning to say that this building is IP. And IP means it applies MFRS 140. Right. And you are informed that uh, they, you get a rental income. So that rental income, you have a rental income of 20K per month. If you were to record that, you will have to go and debit just to give you ideas bank maybe and credit rental income so this is just a normal income which is the future economic benefits of the company so nothing to do with the transfer yet this is during it was still a ppe so uh, an ip so here it adopts fair value model during those period 1st July 2018 onwards. As part of the company's restructuring plan, so this is where the transfer will come in, the directors decided to use the building as its admin office. So at first it was for, uh, for rental. Now it is to be used as admin. So you can see that there is a change in use and that was to be effective effective from 1st of July 2021 so this is 1st of July 2021 
So 19, 20, 21, meaning that you adopt fair value model and this is for three years, right? So three years. You have adopted fair value model then and that has become an IP. And 1st of July here is the date where there is a change. There is a change in use. And 1st of July is what you call the date of transfer. Or I call it DOT, date of transfer. Are you with me, class? Hello? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Are you focusing? Yes. All right. So here the change in use here is from IP to PPE or owner occupied property from IP to PPE on 1st of July. Right. And you are informed the fair value of the building on that date which refers to the 1st of July. Fair value of the building on that date was 5.5 million. So meaning that on this date, on this date, 1st of July, yeah, this date, the fair value, 1st of July, 21 is 5.5 million. So that is the information that you have. All right. The rest is just information on the... Um, accounting policy of the company. So what is uh, what are you required to do? You are required to advise lebaran, advice, meaning that you need to write accounting treatment, sentences, uh, how to account for the building on the date of transfer. So building at first was an IP. When you have a change in use to make it as admin office so change in use to make it admin office so be, meaning that now it is a ppe so from 1st of july 2021 onwards you will not account for it as a p as an ip but you have to account for it as a ppe so what are the accounting treatment prescribed so we earlier on we have a look at the accounting treatment so here uh, our case is that uh, the IP uses fair value model. So the investment property will be reclassified as an owner-occupied property, which means that it will be uh, uh, changed to become OOP on the date of transfer. So if, And then uh, what is the situation here? It will be like this, where on the date of transfer, right, on the date of transfer, so I'm going to put it down a little bit here, on the day of transfer, 1st of July 21, you are going to go and reclassify. So you now will have PPE building, right? Debit PPE building. And you are going to have to credit your IP building. Why do you need to credit IP building? Because it is no longer an IP. Because from now onwards, you adopt, adopt, Revaluation model. Starting from the date, it becomes a PPE. Here it is a PPE. Here it is an IP. IP now PPE. So change in use to become PPE. So therefore, PPE will be recorded. Debit PPE. How much? That is the issue and you are going to go and see how much is the balance given. So if you can see here, the balance before the uh, date of transfer was 4 million. So what you will do is you will go and debit PPE for uh, uh, debit IP. Sorry, let me just put this here. I put this side. So here. So what you will do is on the day of transfer, 1st of July, 21, right? You need to find out what are the fair value, okay, 5.5 million. 
what is the carrying value on 1st of July 21 is also important. So according to the standard, the uh, the carrying value of the IP is measured at the fair value on the date of transfer. So fair value on the date of transfer here. The fair value is 1.5 but the carrying value here should be the carrying value 4 million here. So if you can see here the carrying value is 4 million. Because there is no depreciation. Why no depreciation? Because the company adopts cost model. So this is the carrying value of IP. It is going to be 4 million. Carrying value before it becomes a PPE. So the difference is how much? 1.5 million. So the difference of 1.5 million here, you can see that fair value is more than carrying value. Fair value more than carrying value. Under fair value model, this is a fair value. Fair value gain. And this fair value gain. So this is a fair value gain, 1.5 million. Now, what is the cost of the PPE? So now it becomes a PPE. So therefore, the deemed cost of PPE is 5.5 million. So if you record as a PPE, your record will be 5.5 million debit. But if you were to close the IP, you will have to close it at 4 million and record the fair value gain. Let me just do it here. Right? So what I will do is I'm going to record the, the, the changes here. So I will debit IP, debit PPE, how much? 5.5 million because it is now a PPE. And then I will credit IP 5.5 million. So that was what you do. Credit IP 5.5 million. Before that, on the same day, you also have another revaluation, uh, another gain, fair value gain of 1.5 million. So that would be debited to the IP. How much? Debited to the IP at 1.5 million and credited to the P, uh, credit to the fair value gain. Fair value gain in the SOPL. 1.5 million. So that was the entry. So if you do this in account, you can see better. So if you do it in account, IP. Balance brought down was 4 million. Fair value gain was 1.5 million. So the one that becomes PPE, PPE is 4, is 4 million, so it becomes 5.5 million. It becomes 5.5 million. So now the account is closed. You notice that, class? Hello, class. Yes. Um, Do you notice or not? IP account yes, is madam. closed now. Why? Because it becomes PPE. You change the use. And for PPE, I will just draw, put it here. PPE, you will have a starting point of having 5.5 million and that was because you convert IP and you convert IP when is the date put the date okay let's say the date is 1st of July 21 you can put the date so the one that will be shown in the soft P for the PPE is 5.5 million and therefore on 1st of July after 1st of July there is no more IP but there is only PPE but the difference between the carrying value of IP, 4 million, and the fair value as on the date of transfer. Date of transfer means 1st of July. The difference is fair value gain. However, if let's say the fair value here is 5.5 million and the carrying value here is let's say 7 million. 7 million. If it's 7 million, you may have a fair value loss of, uh, let's say, 1.5 million. So it depends on uh, the issue of what you have. 
Okay, then with that, so let us look at the explanation of accounting treatment. You are not going to write this. You are going to write that in sentence. So let us look at that in the sentence form, which is here. So if you are interested to know more about those paragraphs regarding transfer, go and check paragraph 55 up until paragraph uh, 63, if I'm not mistaken, 65. Sorry. Okay. Let us look at what you have here. Number one. Number one is you need to mention on what happened on the date of transfer. The building, the building here will be reclassified. The correct word is reclassified as PPE under MFRS 116. So you would say the IP building would be classified as PPE under MFRS 116. Okay, you, you have to give the reason. So when you say will be reclassified as PPE, give the reason because there is a change of use. What is the change of use? Give evidence. Get evidence. The evidence of change of use is from rented out property to admin office. That was the evidence. The reason is because of change in use. The evidence is because the property now no longer being rented out but becomes admin office. Then you need to explain what is the fair value of the building uh, on that date. So the fair value of the building on that date was given the question 5.5 million. And I told you earlier, the fair value on the date of transfer will be the carrying value or the deemed cost of the PPE. Carrying value here is the term just now I use. Carrying value here is the deemed Cost. Remember, I opened up the PPE account, deemed cost of the PPE. And on the day of transfer, you have to recognize a fair value gain of 1.5 million. What was that? Fair value gain of 1.5 million here is because the fair value of 5.5 million is greater than the carrying value on the date of transfer. And that fair value gain will be recognized in the SOPL as an other income. And starting from 1st of July onwards, it becomes a PPE. So when it becomes a PPE, you are going to provide depreciation over its remaining useful life of 37 years. Okay, you may ask me why 37 years. The reason is because... Oh, I've already erased it. Okay. The reason is because at first, the estimated useful life, at first you can see EUL in the question. If you read, you can see it was 40 years. And you have used up from 1st of July 2018 until 1st of July 2021. This period is three years. So therefore... 40 minus 3. So the remaining useful life is 37 years. So therefore, the asset will be depreciated starting from 1st of July 2021 onwards. Before that, no depreciation. Why? Because it uses fair value model. Under revaluation model, it will have depreciation. Right. Mm, so that is the, uh, the way you write the accounting treatment.